Some world champs like an easy life. Not Glasgow's Scott Harrison. The 28-year-old won his title three years ago before losing it just nine months later in a bruising encounter with Mexico's Manuel Medina. But Harrison was not to be denied. He's won back his title and defended it five times. He has trained fanatically hard for tonight's fight. Believe me, he needs to. His highly dangerous challenger is Australia's Nadal Hussein. He's convinced his time has come. I could have fought whoever I wanted. But I fight Nadal Hussein so I can give the fans a good fight. I'd like to be remembered, you know, as a uh, tough champion and a real fighter. The Scott Harrison, known as the real McCoy, is going to have to be just that tonight. Well, now we're going to focus on the uh, Scott Harrison fight. Uh, it really is a, a struggle for Scott, the local world champion, to make the nine stone uh, featherweight limit, but he is prepared with fanatical intensity up in the Scottish Highlands, and Gabriel managed to get inside the Scott Harrison boot camp. Raw, raging. People are out there trying to, trying to take my title off me, and it's just not going to happen. As blunt as a Glasgow kiss, he's the only Scotsman to regain a world crown. Anybody who meets Scott and spends a bit of time with him realises that he's a special person. Yet Scott Harrison's the rough diamond his nation can't quite take a shine to. Funny that. Born in Glasgow, made to fight in Scotland. For his three weeks conditioning work, Harrison takes the high road. He used to go to Spain. He went soft. He lost his world title to Manuel Medina. He needed to be knocked into shape. Nature's way. The reason when the Highlands, uh, as you can see for yourself, it's a solitude. Doesn't it get any easier? Doesn't it get any easier? It's a Trappist monk meets Rocky IV meets the Royal Marines regime, and that was the warm-up. What's in there? Oh, it's just 50 pounds of sand. It's just weighted with, with water as well, so it could be even heavier than that, you know. So better crack on. And so begins the real work. 60 metre sprints on the slopes of Glen Nevis. I don't think any of the boxer would do that. I think you've got to be a bit crazy. A lot of people just say there's no connection with boxing, but this is just, this is stamina work, this is mental work. It's uh, moved me on a good 40%. I just want to keep breaking records after records. That's what motivates me running up these hills. It's the last day of the Highland Flog. They're celebrating. We normally do 12 rounds, but all time fighters, they've done 15 rounds, so today we are, we're doing the 15. If it wasn't for after the Medina fight, I probably wouldn't be here. Well done. And I wouldn't be two-time world champion, so... <coughs> I'm meant to be up here, that's what I believe, I'm meant to be up here training. Yeah, I'll go and get my breakfast now. Yeah, go and get my breakfast. At Spartan Tartan HQ, Scott has two luxuries, the TV and a personal chef. OK, it's his dad. Just one that's done already for the night, has cabbage. We're having the noodles for a change. Here, mobiles and newspapers are rationed, though the odd headline sneaks in for motivational reasons. I couldn't care less, I mean, as long as I'm making money and defending my title and putting on good shows for the fans, that's what, that's what I'm happy with. I don't sit in the house and I say, I want me recognition. The Fort Williamers have embraced Harrison. The city boy getting ready to rumble has a humble side. He travels light. His ring goes up in the top floor <laughs> of the cattle market. Had a ladies' night up there, a fashion, night show. Up there. Fashion, show. fashion show. A boy that any mother would like to have as a son. And he's away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Where is that problems? I don't know anything about his problems. The odd night out has gained a notoriety, but on Harrison's passport it says boxer, not role model. He's got the dedication, say the critics, just not that extra touch of class. And he's still to fight the very best. What is the dream fight for you? I want to mean fighting Barrera. Tonight, the rough diamond can edge closer to that super fight and to a touch more acclaim. Stamina's good. Speed's good. <coughs> just it's looking brilliant. I mean, I could have fought whoever I wanted. It's not a number one contender. But I fight Nadal Hussein so I can give the fans a good fight. So that's really I'd like to be remembered, you know, as a uh, tough champion and a real fighter.
That's a grim, old-fashioned, tough training camp. And yeah. Has he done enough sparring, though, do you feel? Well, we don't know how much sparring. We just, he, we, we've seen Gabriel seem to concentrate on that sort of manic hard work that he does. But he does seem to have just put a great deal of emphasis on the rough and tumble stuff and he has lacked that finesse, that classiness, that boxing that we thought he showed when he won the title against Julio Pablo Chacon uh, some years ago. But he just seemed to have gone back into that role model of thumping and marauding forward and using his physical strength. But you have to say, it's the old dog, new trick scenario, he's 28 years old, he's not going to change it this time. What point. about making that weight? He was 40 minutes later for the yeah. weight and his opponent said he was struggling to make yeah. the weight, he said he was stuck in traffic. No, he's, he's desperately tight on the weight. You know, he'll be coming in here tonight uh, in excess of 10 stone 2. That's a stone and 2 pounds heavier than he weighed yesterday. So he is really struggling to make the weight. You could see how emaciated and dried out looking he is. But he's one tough guy. He will have replenished. He'll be very strong. OK, Barry, thank you very much. It is very nearly time for us to get it on then. Scott Harrison against uh, Nadal Hussein for the WBO featherweight uh, title. Hussein... Only stopped once in 41 fights. He says Harrison is stale and has got no punching power. Harrison, six defence, a massive featherweight. Nine stone yesterday, close to ten stone now, and absolutely fearsome on his own patch.